I think he did a great job. I'm sorry. And I think the country wants a, a boss like that. You know, a little bit of fascism there, just a little bit. Well, the, <laughs> just a tinge of it. No, tinge well, of it. The, 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 <laughs> the lame observation being made by a lot of folks, well, maybe it's not lame, but they can't get the nomination because, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the right-wing nuts, you know, well, you know what? That is such conventional wisdom. It is the kind of crap people should. The I thought it was buzzer that goes off when people say that kind of crap. Look, if you go down to Jackson, Mississippi, you go to Atlanta, Florida, you go anywhere in the South to men's clubs for lunch. Who's the number one speaker they want? Giuliani. You go around the suburbs of New York, Philadelphia, Detroit, Chicago, everywhere. All those suburban areas where people used to live in cities and loved their cities and had to leave them. And they say, I still love my city. I want to go back. This guy Giuliani's saving my city for me. I mean, I felt that way about Eddie Rendell in Philadelphia. We love good mayors because we love our cities, and Giuliani's the city guy. And I'm so sick of southern guys with ranches running this country. I want a guy to run for president who doesn't have a fucking, I'm sorry, a ranch. Uh, Wouldn't you, that be good? Not a, a guy who wasn't on the ranch during Katrina. He was on the street corner answering questions. Did you beat Giuliani that? was answering questions. Out, hang, on on hang on a minute. Yes. Did you get that, Lou? Yes, Bernard got it. Did we get it on... Uh, MSNBC. We'll have to ask them. Did you, Tom? <laughs> See if they effed up. 